morning, Felipe. Good morning, Fernando. Good morning or good afternoon, Jeffrey. And Philip, good afternoon. I hope you can hear us all. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Coming through clear. Yes, yes, thank you so much. And shalom, shalom, shalom. Good morning, how are you today? Good evening, I'm fine. And, and how are you doing? I'm fine. It's a beautiful day here. The sun is shining, the clouds, but it's beautiful. Great. And how is it I today? Cannot, yes. <laughs> I cannot say the same here. It, we are uh, expecting a cyclone uh, in our region. And we have uh, during the night a lot of wind and we are expecting, uh, we, we do not know what is going to happen today, but but it still is okay. It is cold. The temperature was, was uh, it is low already, and and we do not know how what the wind will bring to us. Yeah, we wish you, <laughs> we wish you all the best. Yes, thank you so much. And Victoria is here. Good afternoon, Victoria. We are very happy to hear to see you here on YouTube. And Fernando, what did you prepare? for us for today? It, uh, first of all, thank you and thank all the friends uh, for uh, opportunizing to bring some questions and to bring what I'm studying at the moment. In fact, I, I prepare some teachings from Isaac Luria, mm -hmm. hoping you could uh, uh, clarify some ideas that he brings that is uh, I was overwhelmed while, while I was studying it so I hope that uh, that these verses from the Torah and what the sages says about it could resonate with the friend as well with all the friends thank you so much thank you so much so shall we pop into the whiteboard and see what is happening there Yes. Yes, we are ready. All of us are ready. Philip, do you have an access to the whiteboard? Felipe, do you have an access? Yes, I do. Thank you. Thank you. So, Fernando, please, let's start. Venus, good morning. We are very happy that you're here on YouTube. Yes, Fernando. Yes, uh, I, I know. I, I think that we could first read the the, the text about Leviticus chapter mm -hmm. twenty five. It is only I think that I, I selected only twelve verses. Uh, the letter is big, so it looks like more than that. But it it is only twelve verses. And after I can bring what the book of Sohar speaks about, and why this verse is important and what Luria speaks about. So if any friend could uh, help me to read it, I will be more than glad. Thank you. So who would like to read Leviticus? If you're asking me, I don't mind. We shall be glad. Do you see the letters clearly? One second, I mm. shall try to... Maybe just a bit larger. Larger, okay. Let's see. Do you have it? Uh, yes, that's good. Good. Thank you, Philip. All right. That's right. And the Lord spoke unto Moses in Mount Sinai, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye come into the land which I give you, then shall the land keep a Sabbath unto the Lord. Six years thou shalt sow thy field, and six years thou shalt prune thy vine vineyard, and gather in the produce thereof. But in the seventh year shall be a Sabbath of solemn rest of the land, or the rest of uh, solemn rest for the land, a Sabbath unto the Lord. Thou shalt neither sow thy field, nor prune thy vineyard. That which groweth of itself, of thy harvest thou shalt not reap, and the grapes of thy undressed vine thou shalt not gather. 
it shall be a year of solemn rest for the land and the sabbath produce of the land shall be for food for you for thee and for thy servant and for thy maid and for thy hired servant and for the settler by the side that sojourn with thee and for thy cattle and for the beasts and uh, in thy land uh, that are in thy land shall all the increase thereof be for food and thou shalt number seven sabbaths of years unto thee seven times seven years and there shall be unto thee the days of seven sabbaths of years even forty and nine years then shalt thou make proclamation with the beast of the uh, with the blast sorry Yes. of the horn on the tenth day of the seventh month in the day of atonement shall ye make proclamation with the horn throughout all your land and ye shall hallow the fiftieth year and proclaim liberty throughout the land unto all the inhabitants thereof it shall be a jubilee unto you and ye shall return every man unto his possession and ye shall return every man unto his family a jubilee shall that fiftieth year be unto you. Ye shall not sow, neither reap that which groweth of itself in it, nor gather the grapes in it of the undressed vines. For it is a jubilee, it shall be holy unto you. Ye shall eat the increase thereof out of the field. Thank you so much. Uh, sorry, it, yes, it was the 12, wasn't it? Yes, Fernando. Yes. Yep. This, this is, is what... excellent. Thank you so much. Yes, the the other verses of the Psalms we can we can look at it later. Thank you. But thank you so much, Philip. Uh, so That's all good. from this word, thank you. Uh, it is interesting at what what took my attention and 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 blow my mind reading the commentaries on this verse is that in this uh, passage if we read only the literal form we may think that that this is related only with some commandments uh, with related to work or to rest rest the land a jubilee that is related with uh, bringing everything to its beginning and the Shabbat, right? Uh, but when we open the book of Sohar, uh, it is interesting because the book of Sohar, the sages start to speak about these verses, saying that opening, uh, Rabbi Eliezer opened the conversation uh, saying that this is the teaching of the ascent offering. It is that which ascends, I'm reading right now. We have established this verse as referring to assembly of Israel who ascends and join the Holy King in complete coupling. So uh, the book of Zohar brings this idea of the ascent offering, the Ola, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> With this um, Shabbat of the land and and uh, in the first glance you may not see maybe the the why is this an ascent offering and why is this uh, the way to make the coupling of the the assembly of israel that is a symbol to shekinah and to the hashem that is a symbol to tiferet right so uh, when I, I read it, it took my attention and they, they give a lot of importance to the first verse because it is said that God, Lord God, spoke to Moses in the Mount Sinai. Uh, and in the most part of the Bible, when we, when we read that the Lord is talking to Moses, uh, we do not know where he is talking to Moses. And in this passage, uh, he said the place, and the place is... is the Mount Sinai, or let's say in, in the highest uh, place that uh, we can think in the biblical story, right? Mm -hmm. 
So, it, uh, going to the Luria's approach uh, to explain why the Shabbat, the Shabbat of the land and the Jubilee are the ascent offering, I would say that he, he brings some questions that I will, will make to you and to the friends. That is uh, like, why do we work for? Why we need to work here on this land? Uh, why humankind uh, needs to work and needs to rest? It's not something that uh, we would uh, accept or not. We need to rest. And of course, uh, the meaning of the Shabbat, Shabbat of the land and Jubilee. So this is the main topic, uh, Eti, right? Uh, mm -hmm. It is related with this work. Okay. Eti, if you could please uh, draw uh, the picture of the Tree of Life, just yes. the points. Yes, sure, sure. One second. Choose, Thank you. Thank you. Choose a color and choose the right pen and we shall draw course moving here if you need me to write in a certain place just let me know and I will write in the correct place if you just need okay yeah just just the tree of life would, would help me to mm -hmm. to to speak about what Luria brings in this yes. topic yes here we have six this is the seven seven spheres and here we have the minds the three minds which is beyond time and space those are the three minds yes this is it yes this is, yes yes and if you could make just a little uh, separation on the malchut yes yes here maybe i will color it in red to make yes, a separation it's, it, it is it is perfect it is perfect it, it yes. is just perfect the kingdom, uh, yes, I will write yes. kingdom, Malchut, yes, this is the seventh sphere, yes, and it, it resonates with the Shabbat or with the Saturday, yes, yes, please, Fernando. Yes, uh, thank you so much, Ed. The first idea that we have to, to bear in mind, uh, because Luria, uh, uh, he presumes that we know some terminology. So the first one is about the seven kings of Edom that we uh, spoke a few classes ago, <coughs> where uh, Luria says that we had two creations. <coughs> the first creation, it's in Tzum Aleph, was the world of chaos, it is called it in Kabbalah, right? Mm -hmm. The world of chaos where we had seven kings of Edom. Why, uh, why seven kings of Edom? Because we have the passage on Genesis that spoke about the seven kings, where he, they did not have a wife. <clears throat> so it represents uh, one who do not connect with others. So, and this first uh, creation uh, these first vessels was broken, right? And the sparks of these vessels came down to Malhut, came down to the, the extreme of manifestation, let's say. Mm -hmm. And in the second creation that we have, uh, the idea is that we need to bring forth these uh, hidden sparks that followed in the first creation. This is uh, a little cloud in the first class that we, we take, but but I would ask only to to maintain this idea that we we had two creations, and in the first one, some sparks of divinity came down to to kingdom to Malchut to the manifested. So what Luria says is that the work of man is to bring forth these uh, sparks. He, he used this terminology and he also speaks that these sparks are like feminine waters, feminine waters, uh, that we must uh, 
rescue this feminine waters and to bring it up. And once we bring it up, these feminine waters, the masculine waters came down automatically. We're gonna uh, come back to this idea. I just said this because Luria speaks that in this world, this sefirot that Eti just uh, just drowned to us are not uh, in order. Let's say the sefiras are not the sefirot are not living in its proper domain. They are down a little bit. They are uh, in uh, in octave down. So in the six days of the week, all these sefirots are uh, one uh, step down from where it belongs. But on Shabbat, it all came to its origin. So the kingdom, Malhut, came back to where today stands <coughs> Netzahod and Yetzod. Netzahod and Yezod come back to where is Chesed. Mm -hmm. uh, Gebura and Tiferet and so on this occurs all Shabbat in all Shabbat this occurs right mm -hmm. so <clears throat> if we assume that our work here is to rescue the sparks that are in the kingdom in Malhut in the manifestation we only can do this during the six days because during the six days, we have a connection of the six spheres into the kingdom. While in the seventh day on Shabbat, the kingdom came up to these spheres and we do not have anymore this connection with the manifested. So all we have to do is to assume that everything is perfect. I don't know if I am too complex uh, talking about this because it's very abstract. Yes, that's, uh, that's understandable. I, I have a question. Yes, please. please. Uh, when you say that they were all a position down, does that also include the barrier between time and space? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, it presumes that during the six weeks, we have like a portion of infinity in the manifested. And, and it's interesting, Philip, because, because Luria speaks that this is why it's so fundamental the work of man. Because without man, without man studying the Torah, uh, making a conversation about the Torah, making good deeds and make prayers, this is all that we have to do following Luria. Okay. Uh, the divine sparks cannot ascend. So it is interesting because we think about God as Almighty, right? As uh, he making he could make anything, right? Mm -hmm. But it seems that he needs us somehow. Because without a man uh, making charity, making a tzedakah, or giving the ear to a friend, or studying the Torah, uh, the sparks Definitely. will not rise. If you'd like, uh, I could expand on that a little bit. Yes, please. Uh, so when you say that um, God needs us, uh, I think the word you used was for some reason or for something. Um, being in a, uh, a higher place than uh, where we're in, um, he's created us or this space uh, for himself uh, to be able uh, to manifest himself into. If we started at a low, a primitive uh, position and we're moving forward into where we're heading now, it's uh, uh, giving him better space uh, to occupy so everything is uh, raising up towards it and it's an opportunity for him to be able to manifest himself up towards, uh, so to speak, his own level. Yes, exactly. 
it. And this is this is why uh, I took this verse it, uh, on mm -hmm. Psalm that yes. that is Acluria quotes. It's the Psalm 68 verse 35. Yes. Uh, because the, this verse, when we read it in English, it is said, uh, ascribe strength unto God. But if we read it in Hebrew, we could see that is Tnu Os, give strength, Le Elohim, mm -hmm. to God. So Luria sustains that somehow, <laughs> for a mystery, we need to give strength to the to the higher to shehina to the lord so uh, so our work here is um, it is the the sanctum of fiction let's say it is the the holy work that we we must do that is to bring down this shefa and Eti, could I ask you to, 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 to describe two words? Yes, yes, please. Which? The first word is work, work, that is melaha. Yes, on the white space, yes? One yeah, second. Yes. Yes. One second. Yes. Melaha. Yes. Melaha is work, right? Yes. And 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 the sum is ninety six. And Luria speaks that the work when we are working, trying to bring up this divine spark, that uh, it's made only when we do it for the others, not for ourselves, but only when we are trying to do for the other. This is why is the feminine water. He relates it also with sexuality as well, you know, because uh, it is like what the mediev medieval said about Sophia. You need to like to be a gentleman with this. You need to to work on this to give the best to bring up this uh, water. And when you make this. You make the divine union that Luria says that is the word El, uh, that is a name for God, Aleph Lamed, plus Adonai, that is the name of God in Malhut, that also gives 96. So it's the, the coupling of El, the, the judgment of God, mm -hmm. with Adonai. So this is what Luria says. But we only have six days to make this. We only have these six days because on Shabbat we're gonna like receive. Uh, we're gonna enjoy all the work that we make uh, during the six days. Also, when Moses is building the Mishkan, it is said during the six days we you will be the, build the Mishkan or you will be the sanctuary. And the seventh day we will rest. So the idea is to sanctify the six days to have a really Shabbat, you know. So, uh, and Luria speaks that the, the work of God, like when we think about wheat that came from God, the, the seed, need uh, a lot of man's working to bring the uh, bread forth, you know. Mm -hmm. We need to plant, we need to sow, we need to take it, we need logistic, we need to put it on fire. And all this work that a lot of men and women uh, are, are making to bring one bread forth that we eat every morning, it is like a chain of good deeds. And when a man, when a man eat this bread, he fulfills his energy with these good deeds of many people. And he, if he uses this new energy to something that is egoistic, he's breaking the chain of these good deeds of many, many, many peoples, people that work for it. 
and even from God that, that came from the land. So this idea, this whole idea of responsibility, the need of work, and, and how to make Shabbat uh, holy is related in this passage, right? So when we transform the wheat in bread, we are like sweetening uh, the creation. So when we That's correct. So, right, Eti? Yes, Eti, yes. please, I'm talking a lot. If you could say what It you is beautiful. Thinking. It is beautiful <laughs> what you say. So uh, <laughs> I'm just uh, letting, you, letting you speak because it's beautiful. Please okay, continue. so the last, last yes. thing. Let's think about this tree of life, right? Mm -hmm. This tree of life. Once we bring forth the feminine waters, this spark, even a little tiny spark, to consider a man in the street like a human and to give him a hand, you know, just to bring forth this spark from good deeds. We permit the union of masculine and feminine. But where is the masculine here? We used to tend to think that it's Tiferet. Mm -hmm. But Luria speaks about the coupling of Abba Veima. So, uh, I, I invite you to think the following idea. In the supernal realm, where is everything is infinite, Chokhmah, that is divine uh, wisdom, and Bina, that is the understanding, Abba and Ima, the father and the mother, they are coupling all the time. They are seeing all the infinite and all the greatness of the creation and everything all the time they are creating new souls all the time they are coupling but we have a Bahir here we have something that divides us but once we make the world, world uh, once we make the work of God this bringing back the, the divine energy we break this, this veil and the divine Shefa, that is the abundance, bring it down. So Luria brings a, an idea that the fortune in this world, the, the, the abundance that we receive, does not come from our, our daily work, uh, like working for a company or working for somebody. This came, uh, the fortune, the, the will, the strain came down when you habilitate a unity in this tree of life. Can when you, you have like a, a, a thought, a feeling, an emotion, and a doing that is uh, something like uh, a unity. Yes, it is. It is beautiful because this is how, uh, in a way, we can uh, cancel the veil, the wall that separates the infinite from the finite. This is a penetration to the infinite. And there's a constant abundance, like infinite rain, infinite goodness that comes. Because la later in the Bible, we find that if people will not behave in Deuteronomy, uh, Moses say that there will be um, a sky of copper. There will be a separation, meaning our deeds here can term our kindness, basically, not going to the work and get a paycheck. This is, this is not considered to be a work. But our purpose here is to cancel the separation and to create unity. This is it. And when we create unity between the manifested and the infinite, a lot of goodness streams to the world. It is beautiful. Yes. It is beautiful. <laughs> yes, he speaks that if we do it right, we will not have to make the bread anymore because 
the messianic times, um, the bread is already there. You know, it, 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 uh, he describes something like uh, we're going to have a tree of breads. You know, it's like, uh, I know, like Peter Pan, you know, the, the land of... But, but it is uh, something that it, if we think that everybody is trying to make their best, the bread is already there. So he brings back it and, and you give the opportunity to, to bring the last uh, quote that I, I took it here on Psalms. Yes. That is the Psalms 97, verse 11. And I'm just finishing very close. That is said, light is sown for the righteous. So Luria says, say this, or zera light or zarea uh, seed seeded letzadik latzadik. Uh, what he speaks is the light, this divine light that we are searching for. It is already sown for, from God Himself. You know, we we just need to pick it up. You know, it, it, we we just need to be righteous. We just need to make good deeds to make for the other and maybe this is why it we feel so great in your classes you know because because uh, we we feel our, our mind like having a lot of insights and everything because you are making for the others in like an anonymous way not trying to retain anything because if we retain something uh, we are already uh, fulfilling our vessels with something that with hamet, with something that is old, with something that is only for the, the matter. Mm -hmm. So this is one idea. And I know that I speak a lot already. I'm sorry, but I, I, I I'm a little excited. <laughs> it's good. About it's them. good. <laughs> it's good. It's very good. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And just to, to if you could. Uh, uh, Describe Shabbat uh, in the, 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 the whiteboard, yes. the, 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 the word Shabbat. Yes, of course. Because Luria also speaks about this. Yes, one second, I'll move the, the hand and take the pen. Here, Shabbat. One second, I need to change from a color to a, a thick pen. Thicker, here, Shabbat. Yes. And also sh Shavuot, because uh, I... Uh, Shavuot, yes. Maybe I will write it with colors. Very good, very good. Yeah. Yes, you just wanted to... One second. Those are the additional... You say that in the word Shavuot we have Shabbat. This is it, Fernando? Yes. Yes, yes we have Shabbat. Yes. This is what you and, aim? And, and it is one idea. And the second idea is that Shabbat, if we think, we could take the word Bat, that is daughter, mm -hmm. and Shin, daughter of the letter Shin, or daughter of the six days, mm -hmm. because she, she, or the three columns, uh, Luria speaks that the Shabbat is the daughter of what we do in the six days. Yes. It's do the daughter of the three columns, you know. Yes. So this is the, the, the importance of we gathering, like friends, studying and making good deeds, because without it, we do not have the Shabbat. <laughs> Uh, it is not a Shabbat when we do a lot of bad things during the week and, and Luria speaks about it as well and the last thing that I w would say is about Shavuot because he speaks about Jubilee we read it the Jubilee happens at, uh, uh, on uh, at each 50 years mm -hmm. right and now we are passing through Omer, it is very keen to what is Shavuot, because we pass with uh, 15 days from 
live in the desert, you have uh, live in the, the Mitzrayim, you have 15 days to receive the Torah, right? Yes. And, and the name, it's interesting because the name of the receiving the Torah, the festival is Shavuot. It yes. is, you know, could, could, could the name be related with the Torah, but it's Shavuot. And mm -hmm. Shavuot mean, means weeks, right? Seven yes. weeks. And in the name Shavuot, we could read Shuv, returning, Ot, returning the signs, returning the letters to the origin. Because in the Jubilee, in the Shavuot, where Moses received the, the Torah and all the letters inscribed in the Torah, is where we bring all back to the unity, to the Bina. This is our aim. It, it's enough for me. I, I talk it a lot. I don't know if... I, I, it's excellent. I it, okay. it, is, it, it is just excellent. Maybe friends would like to ask or to comment here, Felipe, Philip, Venus, Dominique, Victoria, Valerie, would you like to ask something or to share with us? Because an idea came into me, Fernando, while you were posting Psalms 68, 35. Uh, scribe strengths onto God and here we see the word Oz is strengths Fernando do you see the word Oz here let me maybe put a red yes, yes. yes. Oz can I write here on the white space underneath <laughs> Oz yes. Oz is like strengths but it is written with 70, Ayin, and 7. Zayin is 7. If we take only the simple numbers, which is 7 and 7, instead of 70, we take the 7. What does it mean, O's strengths? It means 49. It means basically the Jubilee. Because God, Elohim, is the manifested. The manifested needs rest of the Jubilee. Oh, yes. <laughs> it is uh, beautiful what you're saying, Fernando, because we are heading, we are heading Shavuot, but in our life here, humanity on earth, we are experiencing this Jubilee. The doctors call it Corona times or so, but this is a basically the concept of Jubilee. When there is a rest of like the orders, the, all the orders uh, that or habits that people used to have for the last five decades are being reset. We are being rested and a new uh, world in a way is coming is in the pipe so i i believe that each and every one of us uh, can feel the difference in his or her daily life but and think we think it might be weird or different or slow but this is a build up for a new period in humanity and i'm very glad that you brought this topic for us today fernando Beautiful. Thank you. I thank you so much it, because uh, it is so difficult to put in order all the thoughts that because we are talking about here the ascent offering. You know, it, it, uh, we tend to think about something so ritual, ritualized, mm -hmm. you know, something so I need to go to the synagogue or the church or the temple, whatever. But while, what Luria is speaking here and the Book of Sor are speaking here that what we need to do is to bring forth the feminine waters. We need to do it for the others, to make mm -hmm. others happy, you know, to, to make life happy. And it's interesting because Luria speaks about happiness as well, the importance of happiness. 
it is not something that we need to do as slaves uh, because in Jubilee the slaves are free, right? Mm -hmm. So it is something that we, we must do with our heart fill it up. And we have this, this, this painting here it, that mm -hmm. inspired yes. me a little bit as well yes. because I was trying to see something related with the, the rapers in the field and something like this yes. and and i found this beautiful painting from the 15th century 14th 15th century and what makes uh, uh, besides the story of Prof prophet habakkuk <coughs> what i see in this this painting is exactly what we were talking because we can see the workers in the field on the field and we can see that while uh, when they have the food already, when it was already make some some food in the vessel, the vessel is full it up. Came a malach, a, a, an, an angel, and bring this food to God, elevate this energy, you know. Mm -hmm. And other aspect that I saw it is that the workers are are working with this instrument. That makes me remember the letter Vav. And the letter Vav is the number six. It's our emotions and, and represents the six days of the week that we have to, to bring forth this, this, this food, this heavenly food that the angels eat. You know. It is beautiful because uh, the angel Malach with the vessel with the hay is Melacha and Melacha is like 96 and this is uh, the combination or the unity of El and Adonai this is what uh, came to me from from this painting because there is Malach Malach is an angel or a messenger but also 91, the value of Malach, is the value of each season. Each season of the year has 91 days. And 91 days or 91, the value of Malach, angel, plus the vessel, is Malacha, the work or the craft. It is beautiful. <coughs> It is. I, I see that Venus uh, asked that he, it, in simple terms, Fernando, mitzvot. It is what Luria speaks. He speaks that when we are working in anything, if we are conscious that we are doing a mitzvah, a mitzvot, like when you are working on the field and you do not uh, unite a uh, uh, ass and uh, I'm sorry a donkey and uh, and a cow to 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 make the land you are doing a mitzvot and if you have the idea of to please everything with order with measure right that yes. you were speaking yesterday yes. you are doing a mitzvah you are doing a good deed right loving your neighbor as yourself is the the, the the f the main mitzvot or mitzvah yes. right so in simple terms yes it is yes. correct it is beautiful because like you say when people work in the field and they used to plow with uh, maybe um, an ox or it depends on a horse some people exploit the horse or the cattle that are working with so it means they are working back to back it's like Tzimtzum Aleph they don't relate this is chaos when a person let's say work in the field with an animal that helps him let's say a donkey and the man does not have a sensitivity to the power of the donkey to the fact that he is under the sun does not take the donkey into the shade and gives him water this is chaos this is in this way exploitation of people or animals or nature this is the destruction of the world 
How do we build the world? We integrating, we are relating uh, to the donkey in the field, to the butterfly, to the cat, to whatever surrounds us. In this way, well, when we are relating and including the other, this is how we build worlds. And the 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 drawing that you we made here by making good deeds in a way we're cancelling the veil between time and timeless and immediately abundance comes abundance is like not diamonds from the <laughs> sky but it is the heart uh, is uh, filled with joy and happiness and when we are happy the Shekhinah the Holy Spirit is with us and and this is something that has no value It makes me remember it from William Shakespeare in the Otello. Yes. Uh, he, they have a conversation and Otello asks, who is the happy man? Uh, for the, the man he's betraying him, but he asks, who is the, the happy man? And the answer is, uh, who is the, the wealthy man? I'm sorry, who is the rich man? Who is the wealthy man? Is the happy one, you know, is yes. who feels happy, is who have have a joy in his heart. So this is one idea, and uh, and I, we did not did not speak about the Shabbat of the land, but the Shabbat of the land is this one, right? Uh, uh, Luria speaks that is the respect for the land. It uh, it is not an ascent on the, on the tree of light of life. It uh, occurs on the last letter He, and and the Shabbat of the land is only to give attention for the manifested for for the land because the land gives us everything everything that we have, even the technology came from the land. So it is to to let it rest a little bit, right, and to feed the poor and and everything. Just, it is beautiful, Fernando. Just one word when you open the Zohar text. Uh, the Hebrew says, Zot Torah Ta'ula. If I'm not mistaken, Zot. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Zot Torah. This is the Torah, the theory of the Torah. Uh, Zot Torah Ta'ula, the ascending. The ascending ola, ascending, has the value of one hundred and eleven, which is the value of the letter aleph in its filling. Ola, ascending. This is. Let's. I write it here. Ola. This is seventy six. 30 and 5 yes this is 111 Philip are you with us yes that's 111 yes also the letter Aleph and its filling Aleph is 1 Lamed is 30 and Fe is 80 this is 111 so 111 is the value of Aleph in its filling also Ola ascending so what does it mean to ascend and the worlds our worlds are ascending are uniting are uniting do you understand it or it's too abstract Also, yes, also when we write a letter Aleph, we write it with three lines, like one, one, one. It's like this, and it's unity, basically. Zot Torat Haola. This is the theory or the praxis of the ascending worlds, how the worlds are ascending. And this is also interesting because usually 
and what works here in our life is gravity everything there is a law called law of gravity and here we find something very interesting zot torah haula this is the torah or the teaching of the world which are ascending this is an opposite a power or force to the natural force of gravity this is the spirit because in physics we have gravity and this is an opposite relation it is beautiful 81 word also that we could put in Hebrew it's Jubilee that is Yehuvel right? yes yes Yehuvel Jubilee Yuvel. And Jubilee, we can see also it's be that beautiful wor word. It doesn't have the letter He, Yehuvel or Yuvel. Yuvel, Yuvel, and yes, Yuvel, it is 48. The value of Yuvel, let's do it. This is 10, this is 6, and 32. Yes. And Yovel, it's 48, like the word mind, Moach. Moach is mind. So every Jubilee, there is a new mind, completely new leadership of thoughts that comes to us. All of us humans are charged or inspired by new way of thinking that comes with the Jubilee. Systems, a way that used to uh, uh, lead our life, in a way are gone, are resting, are ascending, and a new mind, new way, new ways are coming to all of us. You will. Thank you so much, Fernando. Thank you so much. <laughs> I <laughs> thank you, it. <laughs> how uh, do you feel it? You so it is the first time this is in English, and how do do you feel with this? Uh, it is not just the first time to present something, but uh, the Luria ideas are so dense, you know, and I'm so happy uh, reading it, and I'm I'm so glad that you opened the space to talk about it because. Uh, while uh, once you open it, uh, a lot of ideas came to my mind, and it was like my my mind was running it, thinking thinking about this. The difficult part part it is to apply all these teachings in our daily lives, you know, <laughs> like to be aware of this holiness that we can strive every day. Right. Yes. The the core, I mean the core is to turn to the other. This is it to to turn. To notice that others are existing here. We live in a place that Israel is is interesting place because it it is like a junction of three continents and there's so many different people are are living here from different. Uh, from different cultures, from different way uh, to handle life, and there is no uh, major, uh, how do you say, uh, way to live. And every day you meet the other, and every day you notice their infinite way to live life and to respect it. To respect it because when uh, usually societies are homogenic and and there's only one way or but it is so <laughs> not like this it is pretty challenging because it it is it is uh, it means to live all the time in in a lot of uh, openness and uh, not every one is uh, willing to open uh, himself uh, to notice in a, we live in a wonderful universe 
And if we are cleaning ourselves from the foreign opinions that we collected through the years and from uh, all kinds of unclear uh, filters, it is beautiful life to experience here. And life is not that long, especially if I may say one word, after the corona, we, we notice that uh, life here is uh, one day here, one day not, and to, to live fully every moment, every minute, with gratitude that we got this uh, even righteous uh, to be here on earth for how many days we received we it's not clear how but this is the constant uh, feeling that I, I get from the universe the last few days that just to to appreciate every moment here with friends and with life because uh, because who knows so it's a great uh, stimulator to to live life fully and to understand that is this beautiful universe was created for us humans. All those planets, uh, trees, everything, this ecosystem was built for us. And we just need what? To recognize it. And when we, ne when we recognize it, we turn. We turn to the one. And this is it. This is basically to return, Lashuv Shavuot, to return to the one, to, to this beautiful uh, conscious that created and enables us every moment life on earth. So I would like to thank you, Fernando, and to thank all friends who participate here at the moment. Thank you so much. I thank you so much, Etienne. If I may, because of listening to you, so, so many things came to my mind. But just one thing, because uh, just to... to, to one one last thing that is about this turning that you are speaking <clears throat> Lurier speaks that if we have an idea <clears throat> to turn to others to to elevate the feminine waters like i don't know to make a new job that doesn't exist or something uh, just by the fact that we could that that is something good for the other and if we we wish to make it since the 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 coupling of abba veima it's infinite uh, if we will uh, truly uh, we have assistance from god and 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 we have the manifestation you know to to make this new life because sometimes we are afraid you know to to change our lives but Luria like encourage us to like you just made it to when we are ready when we make something a movement to to make the change we have the assistance and I can looking back from these corona years where when I find with the friends this channel I can say that is true you know it so just want to thank you and thank all the friends for the patience and I hope we can meet again very soon. Thank you, Eti. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And we can meet here on Thursday at the same time. And I would like to wish all of you a wonderful life every moment, every hour. Just think about unity and love. And it's beautiful as it is. Thank you so much. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Bye-bye. Shalom. Shalom, shalom, Felipe.